Hello, 57s fans. We are coming at you from Yorkton. Swift Current 57s boarding their JTS Bus Lines bus today, traveling four hours to the east. And here we are in windswept southeastern Saskatchewan, where the Swift Current 57s will look to win their sixth in a row at the expense of the 2 and 11 Yorkton Cardinals. Things have not gone smoothly in this young season for the hometown Redbirds here in Yorkton. They've lost their last six. Starting on the mound for Yorkton in this one, Justin Johnston, the native of Calgary. Five appearances this year, two starts. Both have been against the Swift Current 57s. One here and one in Swift Current. The Knuckler, 14 and a half uh, or 24 hits allowed in 14.1 innings worked and a 10.04 earned run average for Johnston. The knuckleball for the Swift Current 57s. They're going to send to the plate in the top of the first. Matt Bonderchuk, Nick Conyus, and Blake Adams. We're going to do a doubleheader here in Yorkton. A couple of seven-inning games. That's how we work here in the WMBL. One game uh, making up for last week's rainout when the Swift Current 57s were unable to make the trip a week ago due to wet conditions here at Jubilee Park in Yorkton. So Justin Johnston, the right-handed knuckleballer, getting ready to face Matt Bonderchuk, the leadoff hitter for the Swift Current 57s, who's hitting two. 64 in this young season. Of course, we've got to quit calling it a young season. We're more than a quarter into it now. As 48 games in around 60 days sure tends to fly by. So the 2017 season already almost a quarter done. For the Swift Current 57s, the uh, Five sevens will be deploying BSP, Bobby St. Pierre, to the mound. The Windsor, Ontario native. Two and one on the year thus far. That one loss, a home field loss to the Lethbridge Bulls. But other than that, Bobby's been spot on. And certainly nothing to complain about his performance in that 4-2 loss against the Lethbridge Bulls as he pitched well enough for, on that night, the hometown 57s to win that one. So everybody's taking their places here. And we're ready to go for the first seven-inning end of a doubleheader here as... Swift Current 57s. No shortage of offense over the past few games as well. Of course, for the Cardinals, offense hasn't been a problem either. A team ERA, a swollen ERA of up over eight, has really been what's victimized the Yorkton Cardinals in that 2-11 and record in the season thus far. So Matt Bonderchuk ready to go for the Swift Current 57s leading off. 264 average for Bonderchuk. And swiping base pads like it's his job when he does get on base. 12 stolen bases on the year. Be interesting watching the two leadoff hitters in this one. Matt Bonnerchuk and Walker McClenney for the Yorkton Cardinals. McClenney with 13 stolen bases on the year. So two teams with prototypical WNBL leadoff guys that like to get on base. and Steal bases once on as Johnston winds up. Bonnerchuk. That's going to be fouled right on out of here. That makes it count. No balls and two strikes. Nothing and two. The count to Bonderchuk, the native of Edmonton. Nick Cunyas on deck for Swift. Nine thirty departure for the fifty sevens today. Bus straight to Yorkton. Had a bite to eat before the game and then arrived at Jubilee Park in time for batting practice. Johnson just a bit up. One ball, two strikes. Both letter height and outside. One and two count to Bonderchuk. New uniform this year for the Swift Current 57s. I've got that leprechaun green out there. Wind up and the delivery. And Matt Bonderchuk is going to single the other way. Finding a spot in the 5 6 gap is Bonderchuk, and the Swift Current 57s have the leadoff guy on with Nick Kanyas making his way to the plate. That wind picking up, 35 kilometers an hour, gusting at times to over 60 here at Jubilee Park. Blowing out to right field, so we'll see if Kanyas can work a tailwind here with Matt Bonderchuk on at first. Righty versus lefty matchup here. Johnston. Breaking ball. Just dropped in a little bit north of the strike zone. 1 0 count to Kanyas. Johnston, quick look over at Bonderchuk Rolls over at man. first. Swing and a miss. Ball. That ball squirting away from catcher Daniel Hawkins. 
Justin Johnston pitching to Hawkins. Dondre Hubbard at first. Jace Wilson at second. Chance Wheatley at short. Parker Smeckle playing third base. Outfield for the Cardinals. Hank Forrest in left. Walker McClenney in center. Donovan Bix patrolling right field for the hometown team here in Yorkton. Flags get a workout. The sun peeks out from behind a cloud. Bonderchuk in motion. Stolen base number 13 on the year for the native of Edmonton. That alters the complexion of this at bat now for Nick Kanyas. Runner in scoring position with nobody out here. The knuckleballer Johnston, not a lot of velocity behind those pitches, so... You have to think Bonderchuk will be in motion. There's a shot to center field. They'll put the brakes on Bonderchuk as that's hosed in from McClenny. Runners on the corners now for the 57s and nobody out. Good piece of hitting by Kanyas going right up the middle. And that's, that's the table for the RBI machine. Blake Adams, the reigning WNBL player of the week. 365 batting average, three home runs, 19 runs batted in on the year for Blake. Brings up the designated hitter. Adams no slouch when it comes to stolen bases himself. Six on the year. Some team speed has helped out the 57s to this 10-3 and three record thus far. No shortage of offense coming out of Swift Current. Opposite field shot by Adams. Catch is made in right field. Bonderchuk tags up, scurries home. Touches home plate uncontested. RBI number 20 on the year for Adams. Swift Current, very Sack fly ribby for Blake Adams. How about Kyle McDonald for the Swift Current 57s? A member of last year's championship team in Swift Current. His first two at bats in his 2017 debut, both deposited over the right field wall. 750 average. <laughs> Three for four in his first game with the 57s. Bon, or pardon me, Nick Kanyas checked it first. Runner just at first base now as Blake Adams sack fly RBI to right field. Donovan Bix, good arm in right field, but he was thrown into that strong headwind. Mother Nature not doing the cards any favor. Kanyas in motion, hit and run is on, and that's fouled off by the big man. Ben Andrews on deck for the 57s. McDonald representing number four in Swift's batting order. As the wind rattles the backstop here. Hit and run is on, swung on and missed. Throw is blown off target by the wind, and Kanye steals the base. Two strikes against McDonald. As Kanye moves himself into scoring position. Swift Kirk's 57s and playing once again that hit and run. Throw from Hawkins behind the plate was good, but you could just see the wind blow that throw off target. Mother Nature playing into a lot of elements of this game. Ground ball by McDonald. Played at first. Dondre Hubbard makes the throw to Johnston, who covers as Nick Conyus advances to third. Nice play by Ben Andrews to the plate with two home runs and seven runs batted in on the year. Andrews a week ago was a sub Mendoza line hitter, but now batting 244 for the 57. So he seems to have found his offensive game, the native of Shoreline, Washington. So that ball with the wind, I'm sure. He'll look to continue the inning here for the Swift Current 57s. Two against the Swift squad as Nick Conyus moved to third on that ground ball out by McDonald. Justin Johnston delivers that knuckleball low and away for ball one. Grant Van Scoy, who's hitting 308, is on deck. We'll see if we get to GVS here in the top of the first inning with the 57s already up one. Two balls and no strikes. Two away here in top half of the first inning. Andrews threw two pitches, keeping the sword sheathed for a 2-0 count. 
Man on third base. Just oh, got it. Andrews Fast takes, ball. and this time that pitch gets the Two benefit of the doubt, low and away. Righty on righty matchup is Justin Johnston trying to work the outside corner and maybe grow the strike zone a little bit as the afternoon wears on here in game number one of this doubleheader. That one misses outside. Won't get the call that time around, making it a 31 count. Balls in one strike. Justin trying to regain the form he had last year. A bit, a bit, a bit of a struggle so far this year, but I'm sure he's going to shake it off and he'll be there. Johnston delivers. Oh, beautiful ball in there coming in. That fills the count. Three balls and two strikes. Breaking ball. Just above the belt to Andrews. Starts. Isn't good for the gate. It's, uh, but it does save. Fans starting to roll in to Jubilee so Park here time. in Yorkton. Up high, walk them. Letter high pitch to Ben Andrews puts him on first. First walk of the afternoon issued by Johnson. Top of the first, one nothing lead for the Swift Current 57. Sack fly RBI by Blake Adams to score Matt Bonderchuk. Bonderchuk singled, stole second, advanced to third on a single by Nick Conyus, and then big Blake Adams hammered him home. Via the sack fly to nine. Papillon, Nebraska's Grant Van Scoy at the plate. Shortstop for the 57s. No balls, one strike. Two on for him with two away. Justin Wilson gets that sign. Pockets. Riley Campbell hitting seventh in the batting order this afternoon is on deck. Stretch and pitch. Ground ball. Van Scoy hit to second. And they take the fourth out of second base. At, uh, one, 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 four to six, two, Jace Wilson to Chance four, Wheatley, four, and that'll do it for the Swift Current 57s. They put one on the board, sack fly RBI by Blake Adams to score Matt Bonderchuk. Swift Current 57s, one nothing lead. They will take to the field behind Bobby St. Pierre when we return with 57s baseball. Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays, enjoy free carnival treats, plus much more. Visit Players Club for more information. Chances to win every day at the Wild West Carnival this June at Living Sky Casino. Living Sky Casino. Living Sky. Yeah. Use your game sense. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, live from Cardinals Field at Jubilee Park in Yorkton. Bob St. Pierre going through his normal routine, taking his hat off just for a half second to pause for a moment before going to work. BSP, his third season as a member of the Swift Current WNBL squad, second as a starter. Bob's first tour of duty in Swift. He saw closing duties last year, a member of the starting rotation as part of that championship team that came out of the sense-making city of Swift Current. Bob St. Pierre, Windsor, Ontario is his home. Two and one on the year for Bobby. Three starts. Two point two five earned run average. Averaging seven innings of work each time he's out there. ERA of 2.25, so Bobby doesn't give up much. Top of the order in Walker McClenney, a 273 hitter for the Cardinals. Opposite field shot, sent foul. McClenney, Forrest, and Parker Smeckle do up here. McClenney out of Morris, Alabama. 
anything up here that Lanky they center fielder. Drive those fielders a little. BSP outside. Evens it up at two balls, two strikes. One nothing lead for the Swift Current 57s here in the bottom of the first inning. A sack fly RBI by Blake Adams to Bob score Saint Matt Bonderchuk. St. Pierre outside, balls, fastball. 3 0 count. St. Pierre working against McClenny. Misses. Nice. And uh, McClenny works, works the. Uh, McClenny's walk. Tank ball. Forrest to the plate now. Hank Forrest from Eugene, Oregon will take a turn now. Don't be surprised if you see Walker McClenny in motion at first base. 13 stolen bases on the year for Yorkton's leadoff hitter. As we've talked about before, offense not a problem for the Yorkton Cardinals this season. 2-11 and 11 record, thanks in large part to a team ERA of just over 8. So we know how often Matt Bonderchuk likes to steal bases. He and McClenny each have 13 on the year. St. Pierre, quick pickoff move to first. Wanted to keep McClenny in check. Need a little bit of dirt getting back. One ball, no strikes. 57's Bobby in the road greens the with the gray pants. The that ball gets uh, over Bodie Cooper. McClenny uh, moves to second base. I think Bodie Cooper was really expecting McClenny to be in motion there, and he was mentally one step ahead of himself, getting ready to make that transition from glove to throwing hat. Bodie's a fundamentally sound catcher. Doesn't make a mistake like that often. Ben Andrews at third. Riley Campbell left. Matt Bodnerchuk, center. And Nick Conyas in right. See Ben Andrews at third base with his toes on the grass. No water in the pool for Hank Forrest as he takes a big hack. Bob St. Pierre throwing to Bodie Cooper. First base is Kyle McDonald. Cole Thibodeau at second. Grant Van Scoy at short. Ben Andrews playing third base. Riley Campbell. Playing in left field, Bonderchuk in center, Nick Kanyas in right. So Joe Carnahan with plenty of offense to work with, doing a little mix and match for game number one of this doubleheader. Two seven inning tilts here between Swift Current and Yorkton as St. Pierre has a look at McClenny at second. A long look, McClenny in motion, heading to third, Bodie Cooper, throw on target, and he's in under the tag. Sliding around the tag is McClenny as Ben Andrews at third thought that he was there with the tag. So the tying run moving that much closer to home plate for the Cardinals. And I missed that pitch ball. Ball, it? Yeah. Three balls in the strike. Three and one. So three and one count to Hank Forrest with Parker Smeckle on deck. Towering fly ball. Foul territory. Foul territory. And Ben Andrews negotiates with the win to make the catch. One down for the 57s. Runner remains at third base. Tough out coming to the plate here in the form of Parker Smeckle. Parker Smeckle steps into third base. One of the top averages on the team at 321 and among the league's best home run hitters. He's got four dingers on the year, Smeckle does. Our team will make an exceptional well, I think, in scoring runs this year. We've left a ton of people on base as well. Uh, Smeckle out of a, uh, Columbus, actually, Nebraska. With a than the Six foot two ten for Smeckle. Uh, Swing and a miss by Smeckle. Saint Pierre fouled back by and, uh, Smeckle uh, towards uh, the uh, snack shack uh, area. Interesting looking at the tail of the tape between Swift Current and Yorkton here, talking with Cardinals play by play guy Ray Sedley before the game. Run comes in to score. Andrews goes 5 3 to take care of Smeckle. 
Grounds out to third base, but brings a run in while it's doing so, and it's knotted up at one here in Yorkton. 57s with a team average of 272. Yorkton coming into this one, 278. But the Cardinals have given up more than three times as many runs this year as the 57s have. So the expression pitching wins championships. Certainly the difference between 2-11 and 10-3 and and as these Twin Cities lock horns. The always effective swinging bunt fielded by St. Pierre, and that's thrown away from Kyle McDonald, and Dondre Hubbard's going to run like people are chasing him to second base. Dre Hubbard just, just had a little, little uh, chopper down there. The always effective swinging line. bunt victimizes the 57s. And you always kind of wonder why the pitcher wouldn't be the most accurate sure thrower. Yeah. But, uh, so that'll bring Chance Wheatley to the plate with an opportunity for Yorkton to take a lead here. Yeah. Wheatley hitting 326 on the year, the native of Balf, Alberta. So Bobby St. Pierre. And the ruling on that is a single and an error on a throw. So... So St. Pierre has a look at Dondre Hubbard at second. Focusing on the infielder Chance Wheatley now. 326, one home run on the year for Wheatley. Chance Wheatley, ball flopper. At the shortstop position tonight. Oh, wow. Dondre almost, almost uh, looked like a deer in the headlights there for... Uh, Bob St. Pierre and Grant Van Scoy keeping Don Dre Hubbard honest off, like he at second base. Ball. Healthy leadoff for Hubbard. Hubbard with some speed. Cardinals going with their blue jerseys this afternoon as opposed to the Reds. 57s, road greens, gray pants. The green and orange attack out of Swift Current. We're all tied up at 1-1 the score here in Yorkton. Strong wind blowing across the field, left field to right. Wheatley thought about One taking a hack at that offering from St. Pierre. One and two, the count now. He had a notion, but he held back and, and uh, he got the ball. Warren Burrow behind the plate. It's outside. He was kind of two and two. You know how the umpires are starting to look? Two two pitch. More like athletes than they ever did before. St. Pierre. And, uh, down Pitch is low. Bodie Cooper can't find it. And Andre Hubbard swipes third. Pitch in the dirt. Officially scored a wild pitch. 3-2. Wheatley reaches. <laughs> foul ball. This one's foul. Hit down the third base line towards the Cardinals bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. Full. Full. Full count. Shot by Wheatley. Oh, bad bounce. Nice. Funny hop on Grant Van Scoy. Good reflex move by the Swift Current shortstop. And that's a tough out as Chance Wheatley hitting 326 is retired. Great athletic play by Grant Van Scoy. Cardinals strand one, but they score one. 1-1 one, one after one. Top of two coming up. Swift will try and regain their lead when we return with Swift Current 57's baseball. Yeehaw! Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays, enjoy free carnival treats plus much more. Visit Players Club for more information. Chances to win every day at the Wild West Carnival this June at Living Sky Casino. Living Sky Casino. 
use your game sense. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes, unwind in the jacuzzi suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days Inn, the host hotel for the Swift Current 57s. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. Ryan Schweitzer in Yorkton. 57's and the Cardinals. 1-1 one, one after 1. 7-8-9 do up for the 57's in the top of 2. Riley Campbell, Bodie Cooper, Cole Thibodeau. Taking a turn against Justin Johnston and the Yorkton Cardinals. Campbell 286 on the year. Making some noise when he does get on base as well with 9 stolen bases. Welcome Thus back, far in fans. 2017. Top half of the second inning. Riley Campbell, left fielder, kicking off for... Kyle McDonald arriving for the Swift Current 57s. This is his second First game. He's hitting fourth in the Johnson, Swift five. batting order. One ball two home runs already. Homered in his first two at-bats. and What an addition he's made. And that's really given the 57s a chance to spread out their offense one through nine now. This one misses. No balls. Or two as balls. Riley Campbell, a guy who was hitting... Top of the order. Now you got a guy who hits well for average and steals bases, hitting seventh. 57s have won their last five. Justin Johnston doesn't miss by much with that pitch. 3 0 count. Good take by Campbell. Sun comes out from behind a cloud, and Johnston. 3-0 fastball, you know you're going to see that. And pitch taken by Campbell. 3-1 the the pitch. Campbell the up the middle. That'll one-hop McClenney in center field. Good piece hitting by Campbell, taking that 3-1 and lining it into center. Bodie Cooper, who has the dubious honor of being the beer batter here in Yorkton. Bodie hitting north of 300 last year in his first season in the WNBL. Few home runs and multiple extra base hits last year for Bodie. Earning him WNBL Rookie of the Year honors as Campbell's checked over at first. And Bodie looking to regain last year's form, 205 right now. Campbell again checked. Nine stolen bases on the year, and Justin Johnston, starting pitcher for the Cardinals, certainly aware of Campbell's propensity to steal. And Campbell in motion, and he will slide into second uncontested. Tough transition from glove to throwing hand for Hawkins behind the plate, the catcher for the Cardinals. And Campbell advances himself into scoring position with none out. That's the, uh, I believe, the third stolen base. For Swift Current, they're taking advantage of that. Uh, number stolen nine. base number nine on the year for That's Riley Campbell as well. Called strike. That makes a count. One, one. one ball and one strike. Third stolen base on the afternoon for the 57s. Breaking pitch, drops in for a strike. 
One ball, two strikes. Count one and two to Bodie. That's, that ball is moving for uh, Justin today, and I'm sure the wind is, is helping it uh, move around. He, I hope you're wondering he's telling me. He just one one thus far. He loves, loves to Windy day. Pitch just misses the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. The manual scoreboard operators here in Yorkton may get a workout at the rate this is going. Top of the second. 1-1 one, one the score. Two offensive-minded teams, Swift Current and Yorkton. Fly ball by Bodie. Hits that to right field. Hit deep to right. Hit back. And that ball catches the jet stream. Good gracious. Bodacious. Bodie Cooper, dinger number two on the year for the native of Chubbuck, Idaho. And with one swing of that Louisville slugger, Bodie Cooper gives his team a two-run lead. Strong wind blowing out to right field. And Bodie Cooper gave that ball a ride, bringing home Riley Campbell. So that makes it Bodie Cooper with the. And there you go, that arrival of Kyle McDonald we talk about. You're able to move Riley McDonald to the lower half of the order. Increase the average of the lower part of the order. Campbell gets on. Gets a single, gets a stolen base, and then is whammoed home by Bodie Cooper. Cards looking for an elusive first out after the 57s have put up a crooked number here in the top of two. 2-1, two or 3-1 rather, they lead it. Brings Cole Thibodeau to the plate, number nine hitter in Swift's order. Matt Bonderchuk waiting on deck. Nobody out, so Swift will turn the order over here in the second. Cole Thibodeau, one home run on the year. He hit it in this park, but he'll get caught looking this time around. First strikeout of the afternoon for Justin Johnston. Matt Bonderchuk singled and scored in the first inning. One down here this time around for Bonderchuk wearing Blair Doucette's number 22. Singled and stole second and uh, ended up scoring, being driven in by uh, Blake Adams. Pitch gets away from Hawkins. Nobody on, no harm done. Ball one. One ball and no strikes. One away. Top two. Nick Conyas on deck. Cards on the shy end of a 3 1 score. Garrett Goodall will get to start in game number two of this doubleheader for the 57s. Goodall, a guy who will likely give the Swift Current 57s good three innings. So maybe pitching by committee for the second end of this doubleheader. Some run support for Bobby St. Pierre with this 3 1 lead after that two run home run by Bodie Cooper. Guy who hits from the left side of the plate with that tailwind to right field today. Got to think that some big swings will be coming from lefty hitters. Bodie Cooper, opposite field shot. Shot by Bonderchuk. Taking that on the run as Smeckle spins and throws it away from everyone. And Matt Bonderchuk will be awarded second base. Bonderchuk now on second base via the dreaded E5. As Parker Smeckle airmailed that ball towards Joe Carnahan in the 57's dugout. We'll bring Nick Conyus to the plate. Pitch outside to Conyus catches the outside part of the plate, and strike one. No balls, one strike. Nick Conyus. Single back in the uh, 
second inning. And Johnston. Ominously glares. Matt Bonderchuk back to second base. Kanyas, one for one thus far. Singling in the 57s first. 3 1, Swift Current leads it. Here's the look in. Stretch. Fly tough. ball. It could be tough. Parker Smeckle at third Smeckle. base. Under it and, Catch uh, is made. Two down for Blake Adams. So it brings up Blake Adams, the uh, designated player. Drove in the first round of the ball game. <coughs> Sack fly <laughs> RBI for Adams in the first, scoring Matt Bonderchuk. Giving the 57s at the time a 1 0 lead. Yorkton responded with a run in the bottom of the first. 57s have responded with two here in the top of the second. He's got speed, but I don't think he wants to call there. Pitch outside. Hawkins lets that get away from him. Bonderchuk holds at second. Bonderchuk all the way at second base, and with the depth perception at home plate, I don't think he realized how far away that ball was from Hawkins. So he stayed put at second. One ball, one strike. One and one the count, or 2-0 -oh, rather. Two balls, no strikes. I'm glad you're up here, Greg. <laughs> the ominous bat of Kyle McDonald on deck. Fastball from Johnston just a bit up. 3-0 -oh count to Adams. 20 RBI on the year for Adams after that sack fly in the first. Three and one. Three one count. I'm surprised to see him throw the knuckleball there on the uh, on the three zero -oh count. But he's, he's had good control of that that knuckleball. In fact, I, I think it's, it's fastball that's been missing. Three one pitch to Adams. As the wind gusts. Another one. Three two. Good looking. Pitch. Adams thought about it, and full count now to the native of Longview, Texas. Three balls, two strikes. Okay, Justin, put him away right where he stands now, partner. Three and two to Adams. Base hit could conceivably score Matt Bonderchuk at second base. Swung on and missed, and that'll do it for Blake Adams. 57 strand one, but they score two in the top of the second, and this is only a seven-inning ball game. First end of a doubleheader. 3-1 lead for Swift, bottom of two. Swift in the field behind Bob St. Pierre when we return with 57's baseball. At The Hearing Place, we are making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget, and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca.
Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. Happy to be here in Yorkton today. Swift Current 57's with a 3-1 lead. We're in the bottom of the second. Daniel Hawkins, the catcher who's hitting 130 in this young season, is up now. The light poles are swaying in southeast Saskatchewan today. Wind gusts up to times, I would imagine around 60. See the lights twisting in the wind. Bodie Cooper has a home run this game for the 57s. A shot to right field with the wind at his back. Hawkins, the catcher, hitting 130. Pads his stats a little bit at the expense of Bob St. Pierre in the 57s. As he singles into left. Jake Davidson, designated hitter, who's got a home run and a 216 average up now. Brings up Jake Davidson. DH. Runner on at first. There's a shot right up the middle. Back to back singles for the Cardinals. So, Cards had something happen here in the. 243 hitter Donovan Mix. The first two batters on board with singles. Yeah. Bodie Cooper and Bob St. Pierre having a quick chat with each other. Brings up the right fielder, Donovan Nix. Bob St. Pierre pitching to Bodie Cooper. Two players that were part of the championship squad last year in Swift Currents. St. Pierre and Cooper. These two spend a lot of time together off the field. Already with that kinship playing together last season. As Donovan Bix to the plate. Represents the number eight spot in the cards batting order. Hope you're all enjoying the broadcast there, folks. And don't forget this is a second. Donovan Bix from Nevada, California. St. Pierre. There's fastball in here for called strike. Hammers that fastball in. St. Pierre in the mound for Swift Curve. Ready versus lefty matchup. That pitch going outside towards the inner part of the plate. Bottom of the second. I have the feeling that we might be in for a bit of an offensive slugfest between Swift Kern and Yorkton. Two balls and a strike. Two and one the count. St. Pierre working against Bix. Two on. No out. Howling wind. And a trifecta of singles for the Cardinals. They're going to put the brakes on the runner at third, and why not? No out. Jace Wilson to the plate. Back to back to back singles. Jace Wilson, number nine hitter, playing second base. A new addition to the Yorkton Cardinals. The wind continues to blow. So Jace Wilson out of Strathmore, Alberta, making his debut. This is his first at bat, so he could really endear himself to his new teammates here. Three ducks on the pond, none out here. In the bottom of two against one of the WNBL's top starters in Bobby St. Pierre. St. Pierre with the wind in his face. One and one count. Nobody out here in the top of the second. Bases jammed. 57's looking for what's been an elusive first out here after a trifecta of singles from the Cardinals. Slash foul. That's fouled towards the Cards' dugout. One and two the count. This is number nine hitter, top of the order, and Walker McClenney on deck. One and two, the home plate umpire hollers out. St. Pierre. This one's outside. Tries to go low and away. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. We got those big old clouds up in the sky there, but no rain called for tonight. 
But of course, anything can happen here in Saskatchewan. Just give it an hour or so. St. Pierre. Hanging tough. Fouls this one off. Down Fouled down. off. Count remains two balls, two strikes. Two and two. Chase Wilson, chance to make a big impact here. His first game, or uh, I believe it's his first game with Cardinals. Chase Wilson. There's a shot hit to right field. That's going to be a single. One will score. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third. Jace Wilson, RBI single. First at bat. Not bad for the infielder from Strathmore. That's going to bring Joe Carnahan out of the dugout. Daniel Hawkins, who led off the bottom of the second with a single. Hitters on both teams seeing the ball well thus far in the first game of this doubleheader. Warren Burrow out there to break up the tea party on the mound. He's leaving, he's leaving him in. And, uh, Umpire Warren Burrow busting up the powwow with the pitcher's mound. St. Pierre, one inning of work thus far, 37 pitches. Walker McKinney. Top of the order in Walker, uh, Walker McClenney. Walker Watt back in the uh, first inning scored the first run of the ball game for the Cardinals as a stolen base. And this one's deep. Shot by McClenney. Hit to left field. Riley Campbell makes the catch. Runner tags up. Throw to home is going to be close. Just off target. Try and get the runner at third, and they do. So suddenly two out, but the tying run comes in to score, and we're all knotted up at three here. Davidson comes in to score. And give McClenny the uh, RBI sack fly. Sack fly RBI for McClenny. Run comes in to score. Brings up Hank Forrest, the left fielder. 7 2 5 out to third base. So Donovan Mix thrown out at, uh, at third. Caught out at third base. And uh, Forrest. Hank Forrest. There, Hitting impressively. Back. Batting average of 358. Two away. We tied the ball game, folks. So a slug fest between Swift Current and Yorkton. 3 3 the score. Bottom of two with two down. Chase Wilson at second base. This one's outside. No shortage of offense thus far. Wilson at second ball base. Strike. RBI single earlier this inning for Wilson. You see him just behind Bob St. Pierre. St. Pierre looks and gets that side. Cooper. Dennis, Pitch over to top of backstop. Cooper. All the way to the backstop in that. Uh... Pitch didn't look wild from Bobby. Makes it count two balls and a strike. Cooper and St. Pierre, for whatever reason, not on the same page on that pitch. So Jake, uh, Jace Wilson at third base now. Runner advances to third, two and one the count. Delivery and slashing. Stay fair, stay oh, yes. fair, stay oh, yeah. fair. Shot into right field, foul. just That's foul right in front of the Cards bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. Count remains two and two to Forrest. Two balls, two strikes. Okay, Hank Hammer, one Parker Smeckle on deck. Two down, runner on at third. Bob St. Pierre in the Swift Current 57s trying to limit the damage to two here in the second inning. Outside. Three balls and Bobby three trying to work that outside corner. Count is full. Three two pitch. Ground ball. That hopped up on McDonald, bounces into the outfield, run comes in to score, and the Cardinals have their first lead of the ball game. And, and uh, E3 on the play. Here 
Three run bottom of the second for the Cardinals have them up 4 3. This Yorkton team, there's some guys that can hit the ball. A better team offensively than their 2 11 record would indicate. Big challenge for Cardinals is keeping other teams off the scoreboard. Parker Smeckel, big bat for the Cardinals up to the plate now. He's hitting 315 on the year, four home runs. Grounded out to Ben Andrews at third, his last trip up. Runner on at first, St. Pierre. He's going to hit him right in the number four. So Parker aboard with hit by pitch. Dondre Hubbard to the plate. Brings up the cleanup batter, Dondre Hubbard. Hubbard going through his usual pre at bat ritual. Puts his X in the dirt, taps the cleats twice, and is ready to go against Bob St. Pierre in the 57s. Last 57s game was Monday night against these Cardinals. Hubbard ejected after debating a strike three call early in that game. Fifty sevens doing a ten one number on the Cardinals. Monday night in Swift. Yorkton trying to return the favor here. Three runs in the bottom of two for Yorkton. It's a four three lead for the hometown team. A little bit of action out there in the uh, Swift Current bullpen. Nothing serious. I'm just doing some stretching right now. But the fastball catches the corner. Fastball outside corner of the plate. Strike called. No balls, one strike. Another well hit ball by the Cardinals. Runner being sent. Campbell. Play at the plate on target, and they get him. 7 2. Written beyond Kalana getting adventuresome, sending the runner. And the Cardinals trying to take a two run lead. They'll strand two, but they score three. 4 3 is the lead for the Yorkton Cardinals. 57s will try and get it back when we return with 57s Baseball, brought to you by Living Sky Casino and Crop Production Services. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. When you need to unwind, visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off-sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge, North Service Road East, Swift Current. Well, how many runs are we in store for this inning? Welcome to the third. Swift Current 57's in Yorkton. It's Ryan Schweitzer bringing you the balls and strikes from Cardinal Field at Jubilee Park. These teams traded runs in the first inning. 57's with a two-run shot by Bodie Cooper in the second to give them a 3-1 lead. Cardinals with three of their own in the bottom of two as they managed to string several hits together in their half of the second. 4-3 the lead. Kyle McDonald and the Swift Current 57's trying to get that run back. Got it into a 3-1 put out back in the first inning. 
Kyle McDonald grounded out to first. Hits it to Dre Hubbard at first again. He'll step on the base, and that'll do it for the big guy from Mississauga. Ben Andrews, two home runs, seven RBI on the year. Walked his last time up. Andrews, 244 on the year. Hitting well below 200 this time last week, so... Andrews starting to see the ball better, hit the ball better in 2017. Ben Andrews stands in. He walked back in the second inning, or the first inning, rather. 57's opening up the services of Brett Esau back in their lineup, the native of Meadow Lake. With what we'll call an upper body injury over the past few games. Last time Esau played, he had a home run right here in Yorkton. Breaking pitch, called strike. Nothing in two to Andrews. Grant and Van Scoy on deck. Justin Johnston, the knuckler, low and away, one and two. As they try to get Big Ben to chase that 0-2 pitch, low and away. First of two seven-inning ball games coming at you from here in Yorkton. This was originally scheduled to be a one-game 7:05 start one week ago. 57s and Cardinals rained out in Yorkton, so making up for that rain out a week ago. Anticipating about a half-hour break between games. This one's wide. Pitch low and away. Good job by Dan Hawkins to drop to a knee and keep that pitch in front of him. Ben Andrews battling back after falling behind 0-2. Now 3-2. Three balls, two strikes. Ben Andrews. Righty on righty matchup, trying to get Andrews to chase away. That one right across the plate, swing and a miss. And strikeout number three for Justin Johnston. Johnston, three starts on the year, all against the Swift Current 57s with... We'll be generous to Johnston when we say varying results. 57s have had his number, but he's trying to keep them off the board here in the third inning. Two down for Johnston. And the Cardinals. There's pitch number 55 of the ball game for Johnston. Two and two-thirds. Innings worked, 55 pitches. Riley Campbell on deck. Van Scoy to center field. Walker McClenny, three up, three down for the 57s. Van Scoy flies out to center field. One, two, three inning for Swift at bat. They'll try and do the same to Yorkton in the field. Bob St. Pierre will take to the mound when we return with 57's baseball. We'll be right back in the home. Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays... Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball in Yorkton. Chance Wheatley leading off for the hometown Redbirds. Grounded out to short his last time up. Wheatley, Hawkins, Davidson. Do it for Yorkton, who has a 4-3 lead. Yorkton keeping the 57's off the scoreboard. and The visiting half of the third. So now Swift trying to return the favor. Heavyweight tilt thus far between these two teams. As they've traded shots offensively thus far, both teams scoring one in the first, Swift with two in the second, Yorkton with three in the second. 4-3, the Cardinals lead it. 
Bob St. Pierre in the 57th trying to keep it that way. Diving play by Van Scoy. Knocks it down. Throw to first. Not in time. Infield single for Wheatley. Van Scoy knocking it down. Almost getting that throw to first in time. So Daniel Hawkins. Hawkins got the ball rolling offensively for the Cardinals in the second inning. His single, the first of a few hits that helped the Cardinals build three runs in the second. So Hawkins, who's one for one. First pitch from St. Pierre low and away. Righty on righty matchup here. And Bodie Cooper moving to his right to block that ball. Daniel Hawkins. Steps in. Single to uh, left. Back to the second inning. Scored a run. This one's High fly ball. ball. First baseman. Kyle McDonald. Where he needs to be to make the catch. One down. Well, that was foul, foul territory. Davidson one for one. Contributing offensively in the second inning to Yorkton's three runs. Davidson hitting 231. Ground ball to second base. Cole Thibodeau trying to engineer a double play. Four, six. Kyle McDonald has that ball bounce past him. Ball goes into the 57's dugout. So Davidson heads to second. One hopper that Kyle McDonald was unable to scoop out of the dirt. So weekly out at the second base on the fourth And Davidson. Right fielder Donovan Bix, 263 on the year. One for one this game. Runner on at second, two away. This one's down in the dirt. Bodie finds that ball at his feet before the runner can advance to third. So two away here in the bottom half of the third, but we have a runner in scoring position. Jake Davidson, Donovan Bix stands in. He's single to right. Back in that second inning. 57s. Have Trey Taylor warming up in their bullpen. There's Trey just on the other side of the pole there, playing catch with Mason Brown. One ball, one strike. One and one the count. 57 pitches thrown by St. Pierre thus far. There's 58 to strike for one and two. Bobby St. Pierre up to 58 pitches. I understand. At this point, the ball game. Bottom of three. Just misses. St. Pierre just misses outside. Deuce is wild now. Two balls, two strikes, two down. Cardinals have a runner on at second base and a one-run lead. That wind is not Donovan up. Bix. Here's a look at and a pitch. This one's a Towering fly ball. Ben Andrews at third base. Makes the catch in foul territory. That does it for the Yorkton Cardinals. They strand one and score none. So the 57s for the first time this game keep the cards off the board and Perhaps our starting pitcher settling down just a little bit here. Three innings in the books, 4-3 Cardinal lead. We'll be back with more 57s baseball brought to you by Living Sky Casino and Crop Production Services. Yeehaw! 
Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays, enjoy free carnival treats, plus much more. Visit Players Club for more information. Chances to win every day at the Wild West Carnival this June at Living Sky Casino. Living Sky Casino. Use your game sense. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes. Unwind in the Jacuzzi Suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days in the host hotel for the Swift Current 57s. We're back with 57's Baseball, top of the fourth. Riley Campbell, Bodie Cooper, Cole Thibodeau, 7-8-9 for the 57's. As Campbell makes his way to the plate. The fourth inning from the 7 8 9 batters to for the Swift Current 57's. Riley Campbell leading things off. Single back in the second stool. Single and a run scored for Campbell. And with that single, batting average now 300. Base paths. They've got a speedy, speedy team. Speedy team for a speedy creek. Stolen base number 10 on the year this game as well for Campbell. Tops that ball. That ball does not escape the batter's box. Swift current on the southwest part of the, of the province of Saskatchewan. 4 3, the 57 trail. Hours from uh, York and what's about four and a half, five hours, guys. Campbell reaches. Down ground ball to short. Chance Wheatley yeah, right. gets the throw to first to take care of the greasy fast Riley Campbell. Campbell got himself on base last inning and was part of a two run home run by Bodie Cooper, the man at the plate now, who's one for one this game. Bodie now hitting 225 on the year. With one swing of the bat, two RBI this game for Bodie. Other, other, uh, Nobody on for him this time around. Opposite field fly ball that went over the wall that was, and it was after Cooper made that contact. Was just bound to go out. Yeah, had to feel, feel sorry for the uh, right fielder out there. It, uh, uh, Donovan Bix, he just kept going back and back and back. And... Uh, it was to big cut with it was a big swing and a miss. cruel intentions from Cooper. Fouled out of play. Fouled out of here by Bodie. Yorkton Youth will try and chase down that foul ball. Top of four. Redbirds on top. Four three. No balls, two strikes. Nothing in two. The count to Cooper. Pitch number 63. About to be uncorked by Justin Johnston. It's inside. Uh, just misses. Ball on two strikes. And that was pitch number 63. Thank you, my partner. <laughs> the other broadcaster up there, he, and he's, he's got really good notes. <laughs> and, or you can follow and it he, online. And he can count. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> Cooper steps out of the batter's box. Ponders whether to spin the solve or buy a vowel. Here's the pitch. Oh, pitch is outside. Good, good take from Cooper. Just missed. Two balls. Two righty minutes. on righty in that pitch. Or a close facsimile thereof has been called for balls, a strike at times tonight. 
Full count to Bodie. Fly ball. Hits that to right field again. Hit back. And not this time for Bodie as Donovan Bix with his heels on the warning track makes the catch. Bodie flies out to right field. Cole Thibodeau on route to the plate. Holding his breath out there, but... Uh, is it the tall fence in, in uh, Thibodeau, 341 uh, this season. Uh, Caught looking the last time he faced cool, Johnston Thibodeau. this game. 57s yeah. have certainly seen enough of Justin Johnston this season. Three starts for Johnston, all against the 57s. Swing on a miss. Swung on and missed for strike one. No balls, one strike. Swift has seen Johnston once here at Cardinal Field and once in Swift Current. Pitch is just outside from Johnston. 4-3, the Cardinals, Cardinals lead it, top of the fourth. Two away here, top of the fourth inning. Teams combining for seven runs in the first two innings. Top of the fourth now. Thibodeau gets that bunt down. Well laid and thrown away. Thibodeau scampering to second base. And he's going to keep right on going. So that was not played well by the Cardinals at all. Thibodeau two strikes against him and a two-hoat bunt. We've seen him try that this year a few times. The KG hitter Thibodeau. And Bryn Bian Kalana is going to make his way to the pitcher's mound to have a quick chat with Justin Johnston and his infield. Two away. And just like that, with one bunt, 57s have no runners on and suddenly a man at third. And the top of the order due up. Bonder Chuck, two for two this game. Single, infield, single, reach on air situation. The previous two at bats for Bonder Chuck. Sixty-eight pitches for Johnston. Johnston, not a high-velocity pitcher, so you got to think that wing's feeling okay still. So they got a runner on third base, two away. However, seven appearances on the year for Johnston. Odometer on his arm, rolling up in 2017. Runner on a third. Ground ball off the shoe of Johnston. Knocked down by the second baseman, and a run comes in to score. 57s have tied it up. Cole Thibodeau bunts his way all the third base through a comedy of errors, and Matt Bonderchuk with a shot off the pitcher. you got to be good to be lucky, and the Swift Current 57s have tied it. Hard hit ball off the shoe. Jace Wilson tried to make a play at second base, fielding it after that funny hop off the foot of Johnston, unable to do so. Bonderchuk on at first, and the 57s have tied it up. 4-4 the score for Nick Kanyas. Curve ball and a nice one from Johnston as that drops in. 12-6, strike one. Nothing and one the count to Kanyas. Matt Bonderchuk. Checked at first. Stolen base thus far this game for Bonderchuk. He's up to 13 on the year. And he might be going again. It's, uh, uh, just keep an eye on him out there. Here ball. Bonderchuk's at first. He steals more often than not, and he's checked at first. Good quick pickoff move by Johnston. Just a quick as a hiccup. Turns his body 180 degrees. And gets that ball over to Dre Hubbard at first. Dirtying up the uni to stay safe is Bonderchuk. They would like to get that runner in the scoring position with two out here. Fastball, Fastball just a bit up. Makes the count. One, one. one ball, one strike. And having speed on first base right now might dictate to uh, Justin 
Bonnerchuk has reached base 23 times this year. Stealing 13. There he goes. Throw in time. And for the first time this year, Matt Bonderchuk has been caught stealing. Good play. Good play, fellas. Was not expecting that. 57s, though, do get that run back. 4 4 the score. Bottom of the fourth inning is on the way. We're back shortly with 57s Baseball, brought to you by Living Sky Casino and Crop Production Services. At the Hearing Place, we're making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget, and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca. Nine one two, do up for Yorkton here. Bottom of the fourth, four four of the score between the Swift Current Fifty Sevens and the Yorkton Cardinals. It's Ryan Schweitzer in Yorkton. Two communities about the same size as one another: the Twin Cities in Saskatchewan, Swift Current in the southwest corner, Yorkton about four hours east on the southeast side. The dry heat of the southwest versus the humidity of the southeast. Bob St. Pierre pitching to Bodie Cooper, Kyle McDonald at first, Cole Thibodeau at second, Grant Van Scoy at short. And that's all about BSP is he gets Wilson swinging. Wilson RBI single the last time he was up, this time he's fanned by Bobby. Ben Andrews playing third base this game. We've seen a lot of Ben at first with the arrival of Kyle McDonald and Andrews continuing to swing the hot bat. Joe Carnahan keeps him in the lineup by playing him at third. That moves Riley Campbell out to the outfield in left. Matt Bonderchuk in center, Nick Conyas in right. Brett Esau, the native of Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, who hit well in the first few games, has been injured as the leadoff hitter, Walker McClenney, singles into the outfield to put himself on at first. Walker on first base. Brings up Hank Forrest. Fouled out uh, back in the first to the uh, third baseman. And, uh, so Hank Forrest, 348 average on the year, but 0 for 2 thus far in game number one of this doubleheader in Yorkton. Walker McClenney on at first. Hank Forrest came into that, tonight's action uh, with a 364 batting average. Fastball from St. Pierre, just a little bit low. One ball, no strikes. 74 pitches from Bobby thus far. When it comes to managing pitchers, quick pickoff move. And McClenny thrown out at first base. Quick pickoff move from Bob St. Pierre, and down goes McClenny, not without a protest. That was close. That was about as close as the Yorkton ones were, in fact. We're not going to argue with them. We're closer than we are. McClenny takes his time leaving the field. And that changes the complexion of this at bat now for Forrest. One down. 1-0 one -oh count. Good pickoff move by St. Pierre. Ground ball. Right up the middle. Up the middle. So Hank Forrest. Back-to-back -back singles for the Cardinals into center field. 
bringing Parker Smeckle to the plate. Hit by a pitch the last time he was up. Two and one the count to Parker Smeckle. Runner on at first. Two away. Dondre Hubbard. Due up shortly. 4-4 four, four the score as the wind howls in Yorkton. Most people are getting off work. Oh, between 5.30 and 6 around here. What time you get home and feed the kids and... St. Pierre, inside. fastball, inside, ball four to Smeckle. It's a good eye for uh, Parker. So Redbirds at first and second. Here's the first baseman. Number 26, Dre Hubbard. Dre Hubbard to the plate. Ground ball, on hit base. to third. Andrews applies the tag. No, he doesn't. Missed on the tag, but, but they get the 5 3 at first. So, the cards so Hubbard grounds out to third. Cards get a couple hits and strand one. 4 4 the score after four in this seven inning ball game. Game number one of a doubleheader. Top of five in the 57s on the sticks when we return with. 57's Baseball brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At Crop Production Services, we're on. Unwind. Visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge. North Service Road East, Swift Current. Nick Conyus to the plate. He was at bat at the end of the top of the fourth when Matt Bonderchuk was caught stealing. First time this year that Bonderchuk's been caught trying to swipe a base. Welcome back, Cardinal fans. So Nick Conyus will head back to the plate. He was at the plate when Bonderchuk was caught stealing. Two in the fourth. Takes first pitch up high for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Here comes pitch number 74 from Justin Johnston. And it's a bunt by Kanyas. That's a good one. That's trouble. And a bunt single for the 57's right fielder. Here's an EH number four, Blake Adams. He bunted that up no man's land. Well placed bunt by Kanyas. And Bryn Bian Kalanas not going to take any chances working against Blake Adams as he's going to go to his bullpen. Seventy-five pitch game for Justin Johnston, as he will exit stage Justin, left. Uh, on a seventy-fifth pitch, leaves the game, gets a, a good tap the, on, on the bottom, 
So Blake Adams will come to the plate with Nick Kanyas on at first base. I just Newcomer for the Cardinals, Bryson Spagnolo will come in. Right handed pitcher. Spagnolo coming in to relieve Johnston. Johnston, four innings, seven hits, four runs, three of them earned, striking out three and walking one, facing 20 Swift Current 57s. Batters. So WMBL debut for Bryson Spagnolo. Cardinals 11 and 2 on the year or 2 and 11 rather throwing a few things against the wall sending some players home and recruiting some new ones opportunity for Spagnolo to prove himself to Bryn Bien Kalana and the Cardinal coaching staff he's got some heat first hitter that Spagnolo will face will be Blake Adams that time of the evening, folks, when they, uh, the right Adams DHing. Second baseman. Adams now 358 oh, on the year. Sack fly RBI thus far for Adams in this one. His 20th RBI of the season happened in the first inning as he brought home Matt Bonderchuk. So Blake Adams doesn't need a hitter. Strikeout and a flyout. Fastball in the dirt. Nice job by Hawkins. Grabbing that one hopper. Had some heat on it. One ball, no strikes. Spagnolo. Fastball pounds the mitt for strike one. One and one. Eric Dorton on the left of your screen. You on that, on that Sending signals to hitter and runner. Spagnolo. Just high. below the letters. So when you get that uh, knuckleball pitcher and you switch from a knuckleball pitcher to a, a guy throwing primarily uh, fastball. 57s now, needing to make the adjustment. From a low velocity knuckleballer to a righty who's throwing some heat. Could take some getting used Runner in motion, towering fly ball. Hawkins will battle the wind and make the catch. Nikanya scurries back to first base. One down as Adams flies out to the catcher. McDonald 0 for 2. Nice in this one thus far. Kyle McDonald returning to the Swift Current down. lineup this past Monday night. His first two at-bats, two home Kyle runs against the Yorkton Cardinals. Over, over 500 three. average in his first games. Let's see if the cards can, uh, turn three for four. And five base. RBI for McDonald in his 2017 debut. Tough act to follow. Over two thus far for the Swift first baseman. He's holding the uh, holding the runner. Pitch inside to McDonald. Four four the score here. We're in the top of the fifth inning in a seven inning contest between Swift Current and Yorkton. Take a half hour break between the two games. Well hit ball by McDonald. Chop to center field. Oh, McClanny oh, dives and makes the grab. Center fielder, they're going to double him up. Nice. What a great catch. 
probably the best catch we've seen this year out there. Walker McClenny. Uh, say that was a gapper, and, and uh, oh, my oh, goodness gracious. And that'll do it for the Swift Current 57s. Highlight reel catch by Walker McClenny in center field. And 8-3 double play as well as Nick Conyus was well on his way to third base by the time that ball got to McClenny's mitt. So that'll do it for the 57s. Bottom of five coming up, 4-4 the score. 57s baseball brought to you by Living Sky Casino and Crop Production so, Services. There we go. Living Sky Casino. Living Sky. Yeah. Yeehaw! Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays, enjoy free carnival treats plus much more. Visit Players Club for more information. Chances to win every day at the Wild West Carnival this June at Living Sky Casino. Living Sky Casino. Living Sky. Yeah. Use your game sense. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back, Cardinals fans. I told you it wouldn't be long. Chance Wheatley steps into one, and it's up against the wall. Chance Wheatley rockets one to the wall. And a double for Chance. Yeah. Wheatley. Wheatley and it's a double for Wheatley. Fifth inning, rather. Yorkton Cardinals perhaps fired up yeah, after a highlight reel <laughs> catch by Walker McClenny to end the top of the fourth inning. McClenny doing a great job of reading the ball well off the bat head, negotiating with the wind and making a diving catch. And now Wheatley on with a double. Making his way to the plate now is the catcher Hawkins. Hawkins one for two, hitting 160 on the air. Single and flew out to McDonald at first. Nobody out. Runner on at second. 4-4 four, four a game. Bottom of the fifth in a seven-inning contest. Uh, Shot to center field. Bonderchuk makes the catch. Runner at second tags up. And Wheatley will advance to third base with one down. So Wheatley moves to uh, third base on the long fly ball. Fly ball to center field. Nice catch by Matt Bonderchuk in center. Sure-handed outfielder Bonderchuk. Jake, Jake Davidson, Davidson, one for two. DH, shading 226. Uh, second and uh, safe on a fielder's choice in the third. One for two. Right-handed batter. 57's infield in, wanting to keep everything in front of them. They all got their toes on the grass. Fastball misses, one ball, no strikes. Clouds roll over Cardinal Field here in Yorkton. No rain in the forecast. One away. As clouds go, we've seen scarier. 57's defense really wanted to keep this ball in front of him. Look at that infield right Three in. Balls, no strikes, and all the infielders are in on the grass right now. All trying to stop that run at, at uh, home plate. That misses Pitch inside Three doesn't miss by much. And 3 0 count to Davidson. Three balls, no strikes, no defense against the walk. Let's see if we can pull one here. Pull anything. Hit some outfield grass there. Donovan Bix on deck. 3-0 fastball. Three balls, one strike. Bix on deck, hitting 256. One for two this game. Okay, Jake, bring him in now. Jake Barton. Davidson, designated go. hitter, represents the number seven spot in Yorkton's batting order. Misses. Ball four. And, Runners uh, well, will be on the well corners. walk for uh, Jake Davidson. So runners on the corners. So Donovan Bix, who's one for two, hitting 256 yeah, on the year. Ex Cardinal friend. Greg Anderchuk, they call him money. We call him Road Runner. Now, what, 
Greg, what would you do? Would you send that runner? No, he's terribly slow. Because <laughs> he's terribly mm -hmm. slow. Okay. So he's, Greg's going to hold that runner first base. So we've got uh, runners on the corner, and that was the coach's idea as well. Called strike. Called strike, St. Pierre against Donovan Bix. Shot to left. Campbell makes the catch. They're going to send the runner tagging up. Play at the plate will be close off target, though. And uh, so we got an RBI. St. Pierre has that ball get away from him, and the runner advances to second. Sack fly RBI from Donovan Bix. Donovan Bix. Yorkton has that one run lead back. 5 4 the score. Number nine hitter Jace Wilson, one for two with an RBI Wilson, single. Uh, as, uh, at base, Wilson, 500 batting average on the year, as this is his debut, and he's one for two. One down here, 5 4 lead for Yorkton, bottom of the fifth. One ball, no strikes. Swift has won their last five. Yorkton has lost their last six. Streaks in jeopardy here in Yorkton. Ground ball, Thibodeau. And that's the third out. Oh, two out, rather. And now three. Wilson grounds out to second. One is stranded, and one comes in to score. 5 4 the score, favoring the Yorkton Cardinals. Swift will try and get that run back when we return with Swift Current 57's baseball. Straight ones, one run. Living Sky Casino. Living Sky. Yeehaw! Saddle up every day throughout June and win with Living Sky Casino's Wild West Carnival. Over $13,000 to be given away in cash and prizes. Slot tournaments, rollover cash draws, hot seats, virtual horse racing, and on Sundays, enjoy free carnival treats plus much more. Visit Players Club for more information. Chances to win every day at the Wild West Carnival this June at Living Sky Casino. Living Sky Casino. Use your game sense. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes, unwind in the jacuzzi suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days in the host hotel for the Swift Current 57s. Five six seven due up for the Swift Current fifty sevens in the top of the six. They trail five four against the Yorkton Cardinals. Ben Andrews, Grant Van Scoy, and Riley Campbell due up for Swift. As they will try and erase this one run deficit. Bryson Spagnolo. Into pitch. He relieved Justin Johnston last inning. One ball, one strike. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he ball did. Or, uh, ball and two strikes. Ball and two strikes. Van Scoy. 0 for 2. Ground out and a uh, fly out to center field. Fastball inside. Misses. One ball and no strikes. Fastball into Van Scoy. 1 0. Van Scoy arriving in Swift Current last week. 
Oh, one of the nice newer members of the 57s. Change up from Spagnola, one and one. The play of the game, though, so far is that uh, fifth inning catch by uh, Walker McClenny out in center field. We will now Turned it into a double play. That was just uh, something. Fastball up something over top of the catcher. Pretty to watch. Nobody on. No damage ball, done. Strike. Top of the sixth. Strike. Swift current trailing yeah. one. 5 4 the and, score. Uh, a number of clouds up there, but. Uh, I don't think they're going to amount to anything. Spagnolo, hard hit ball hard hit by ball. Van Foul. Scoy down Just the ball. third baseline. Two balls, two strikes. <coughs> Count is two and two to Van Scoy. Cards I gotta look hoping them, to uh, break this uh, losing streak. Or something. Yeah. The website that has a whole bunch of. Swift current on, a, I believe, a six-game winning streak. Oh, let's go. Pull the, pull the string on it. My goodness. Change up from Spagnolo, and that'll take care of Van Scoy. Strikes out. Campbell hitting 294 coming into this at bat. One for two this game. No balls, one strike. Two away here in the top of the sixth. Spagnolo. Let's that fastball go maybe a little bit early, about chin height to Campbell. Ball and strike. One and one, the count to Riley. Right looks in. Hawkins gives him a sign. Here's the line of the pitch. Shows Campbell showing bunt. Strike. strike is called. One ball, two strikes. One and two, the count now to Campbell. Two down. Spagnolo. Yeah. No, and curveball freezes Campbell. And uh, caught Campbell looking. Spagnolo throwing that curveball for strikes and back-to-back -back K's for Spagnolo. That'll do it for the 57s in the top of the sixth. Bottom of six in a seven-inning game coming up. Swift Trails 5-4. This is 57s Baseball for Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At The Hearing Place, we're making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget, and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca. Welcome back, 57s fans. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Trey Taylor coming on to relieve Taylor, Bobby St. Pierre. St. Pierre, five three. innings of work, uh, ten hits, five runs, three earned. Eight hits, Walking three, one striking one out one, down. facing 27 ten Cardinal hitters. Very, very fine run Trey Taylor coming on in relief here. Right Yeah. 
5-4, the Yorkton Cardinals lead it here. Looking to add to their lead heading into the seventh inning. So Two seven-inning games in this doubleheader. Leads things off for the, 57's uh, making up a rainout from last week inning. here today. Walker with a uh, walk in the first score to run stolen base. Uh, had a sacrifice fly back in the second inning. For Trey Taylor, this is his eighth appearance of the year. Nine and a third innings of work. He's allowed eight hits, so only one earned run, striking out ten and only walking two with a .96 earned run average. Taylor out of Kansas. Foul ball. Ben Andrews, catch made. That's one, one down, bottom of the sixth. Walker McClenny, regretting the swing he put on that ball. Popping out to the third baseman. Reached on an error back in the uh, second inning. Singled in the fourth. One for three on the afternoon for Forrest. <laughs> Batting 362, Trey Taylor. Fastball for strike one. One away here in the home half of the sixth. Cardinals by one. Swing and miss. Swinging strike. He should not get charged for lights. Nothing and two the count. As the wind picks up. That misses. Taylor doesn't miss by much looking for that outside corner. Taylor with closer type numbers. I'll take just got a piece of it. Forrest in front of that pitch. He was expecting something with a little bit more heat from Trey Taylor that time around. Gets a piece of it. Fouls it into the paraphernalia of Bodie Cooper. Get some insurance runs. And still two strikes against Forrest with one down. Bottom of six. Cards trail by one. 5-4 the score. Game number one of a doubleheader. Two sevens is what we're playing here in Yorkton tonight. Well hit ball. And that will head to right center. Matt Bonderchuk. Running to second is Forrest. Wow, a little bit of speed there from Hank, Hank Forrest. Run, Forrest, run. Forrest runs for a double. Give him a two-bagger. <laughs> and now Parker Smeckle to the plate. He just turned it on. He wasn't slowing down for anybody. And a lot of determination, a lot of grit, and a lot of speed. And uh, nice base running from uh, Hank Forrest. Taking advantage of the opportunity. And he was in there when it was no contact. Good heads up base running by Forrest. Parker Smeckle. He was rounding first and seeing that the ball wasn't in the hand yet of either of the 57's outfielders in right and center. So scamper to second base. Tough out here for the 57's to deal with in Parker Smeckle. 315 average, guy with four home runs. Smeckles game, he's grounded out, been hit by a pitch, and walked. Fastball from Taylor. Called strike. Nothing in tune out of Smeckle. Smeckle number three in Yorkton's batting order, Dondre Hubbard, who was ejected from Monday night's game in Swift Current on deck. Hubbard not agreeing with a strike three assessment in Swift Monday. Runner at second. Yeah. Fast ball. Just missed. One ball, two strikes. One and two, the count. All right. One ball, two strikes. One two pitch from Taylor. Oh. And strike four. There you go. Got him on the breaking ball. Catches Smeckle looking. Fastball just missed, so he goes to the curveball and catches him looking. Hubbard. So Dre 
Bobby Hubbard, the uh, versatile first baseman, right fielder. Uh, uh, Hubbard, two for three, 292 average. Runner on at second base with two away. Bottom of the sixth inning. And Hubbard almost swings himself out of his shoes, way in front of a changeup from Taylor. Two away. Started his swing and then just tried to slow it down. Runner on at second base. Ground ball. Van Scoy in the glove and over to first. And that does it for the Yorkton Cardinals. They'll strand one and score none. We're through six. Top of seven coming up. This is the last inning of the first game in a doubleheader. 57's trail by one. Five-game win streak in jeopardy for Swift. They need at least one to keep it going. We'll be back with more 57's baseball after this. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. When you need to unwind, visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge, North Service Road East, Swift Current. Swift Current 57s have found ways to win games this season in their 10 and 3 record. Yorkton Cardinals 2 and 11 have found ways to lose, but we'll see what happens here as we head to the 7th inning. Swift Current 57s and the Yorkton Cardinals. This is the Here's final the inning fans. maybe of this first game of a doubleheader. 8-9-1 due up here for the 57s. Bodie Cooper, Cole Thibodeau, Bodie Matt Bonderchuk. Cooper with a two-run home run this game. His second dinger of the year, Bryson Spagnolo, continuing to work for the Cardinals. One ball, no strikes. Spagnolo so far, two innings, striking out two. Sixth hitter that he's faced. Fastball into Bodie, one and one. One ball, one strike. Bodie one and two, 220 average. Spagnolo aggressively going after the hitters for the 57s. Bodie thought about chasing after that high fastball. Good take by Bodie. As far as how the webcast goes for game number two, if you're watching on the 57s webpage, after this game's done, refresh it in about 15 minutes, and we'll have that link ready to go for you. We'll close out of this video in particular and start a whole other YouTube video for game number two of this doubleheader, so check the 57's YouTube page and the 57's website. We'll have it there, and we'll tweet the link as well. Low-velocity ground ball, Bodie to Chance Wheatley, 6-3 out. That takes care of Cooper. Cole Thibodeau. With one down in the top of the seventh. Bryson Spagnolo. Fastball to Thibodeau. Strike is called. We'll see if Thibodeau, who hits from the left side of the batter's box, can. Get some offense going against Bryson Spagnolo, who's come on and pitched well for the Cardinals in relief. Change up. Just misses the outside corner, one and one. 
Was it Joe Thibodeau who hit the home run? <coughs> no, that was Cooper. Thibodeau has a home run on the season. It happened here in Yorkton a couple weeks ago. Thibodeau 0 for 2 with a run scored this game. One ball, two strikes. One and two, the count to Thibodeau. Swinging a miss. Swinging strike. Spagnola. That's two, man. Took something off. Yeah, like another 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 big twist two, on it. And <laughs> man, it left him swinging the breeze. You got that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Two down. Two away. Swift current 57's last chance for this one is Matt Bonderchuk. Matt Bonderchuk. Left handed batter. Three for three tonight. Bonderchuk in this one, yeah. Three for three with a walk. No balls, one strike. Bonderchuk. Caught stealing for the first time this season. Now 13 for 14 stealing basis. 304 average. Uh, Yorkton uh, Cardinals yeah. excited about potentially Goals, getting this out as they've lost their last six. <laughs> no balls, two strikes. Nothing in two, the count to Bonderchuk. Bryson Spagnola on the mound. Looks in, gets a sign from Hawkins. Half a losing streak here. And fans and webcasters in Yorkton are pumped about that. We're getting set for game number two of this doubleheader. Another seven-inning contest coming up. We'll conclude our webcast of this one. 57's drop a 5-4 decision. Keep it locked to the Swift Current 57's Twitter account and homepage. And we will have... Webcast number two of the day posted shortly. 57s drop a 5-4 decision. Game number two coming up shortly. This is Swift Current 57s Baseball brought to you by Living Sky Casino and Crop Production Services. Whoa. Excitement.